what up youtube what up with youtube yeah hey look two videos in one day hit that like button hit that subscribe button turn those notifications on and make sure you just go drop a comment down below drop a year anything let me know that y'all here we getting back into it no jumpers got a lot of shit going on right now okay we've got an artist who worked with dijon paul no longer over at no jumper y'all know what he did he tried to lie and say he got shot seems like he's got sketchy sketchy motives all through his backstory and one of the people who worked with him came to expose a little bit of it let's get right into it let's see what this guy has to say i think his name uh i think he said his name was young hot b or something like that we're about to see <laughs> mix into one mm. i don't put myself in a box you feel me so it's like like bro youtube if you want to see what the shit is like how been doing this thing he's got some all right, introduce yourself. I'm Lil Hobby. I already know it's Lil Hobby. Lil, Lil Hobby Three. He's been doing this thing. Lil He's Hobby. Got some dope ass music. Everybody go search. For sure. And where are you from exactly? So like, what's that? Bro, oh shit. Out and like, everything is stolen. Everything is supposed to be good. He like, all right, look. I'm on March. Who is this? Dijon. Need to do some business. Can you tell us about? A no jumper host reached out to you, attempting to do some business. Can you tell us about that? Right. So pretty much. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. Like oh the no jumper chat Dude, is hilarious. Nigga said bye bye suspect hello yeah. new light skin Dejan replacement. You up in March. Okay, gotcha. So from there, pretty much. Okay, he's getting into the Dejan oh, wow. story. Oh, this is gonna get interesting. Guys. I ain't link with him for like maybe two months. We linked in June. Mm. And that's when we said everything is stone, everything is supposed to be good. He like, all right, look, this is what we go do. We're gonna make an album. He told you right away that he was interested in managing you. Exactly. Oh, oh God, this I this wish I knew this before we battled. Uh, oh God. Uh, 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 <laughs> You guys battled in a rap battle? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. I, I didn't even know. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Bro, he's we, see, he's slipping on his pimple. You should have seen that. Oh, wow. But look, that's a good information. That's where I know. He hit me up, right? Yeah. After he hit me up, I'm like, all right, it's cool, because I'm like, I see where he was already going with the report card shit. He was up here with him. Y'all got shit going on. I'm like, all right, bet it's gonna work. Motion. So exactly, nigga had motion. So I'm like, okay, cool. We going. Not emotions. <laughs> go <ahead. laughs> We go, we get on, you feel me? We start going to the studio. He give me a whole layout, like, all right, I'm locked in with Atlantic, I'm locked in with Interscope, I can walk you in. This is what we could do. Uh, you feel me? So for, I want to say maybe, crazy. nigga was talking hot shit though, like if he was really like on that. So I'm like, all right, bet. We make the whole tape, right? I'm talking about in the studio every week. He there with me, making the whole tape. Like, nigga, we in there, vibing, making the whole shit. It's done, right? We do the photo shoot for the album cover. After that, that was the last time I seen that nigga, bro. Literally. And you didn't see each other anymore because he hit you up looking for what? For some cash. So he told you that he wanted to be your manager. You guys worked together on a whole project, and then he asked you to borrow $2,000 because he told you that he was dead broke? Red flag. He said he needed the money for the freshman shoot. Okay. The freshman shoot from last year. Red flag, your manager never be asking you for money. They're supposed to bring you both money. Yeah. Cause he ran into whatever. <laughs> Niggas be having personal problems, bro. Niggas made their personal problems with my emergency. That's what that was. Niggas made their personal problems with my emergency. Right. So you feel me? Which is just crazy to me because it's like, if you're hitting up somebody and you're saying you want to manage them, you're basically like, the, the whole deal is I'm leaving a nigga I'm like, all right, yeah. man, I'm finna do this, yeah. that, X, Y, Z. You about to help me, nigga. I'm exactly. gonna bring positive shit into your life, mm -hmm. and then if you start to earn money as a result, then I'm gonna take a percentage of it, yeah. a reasonable percentage. That's the management arrangement that everybody's Facts. looking for. The idea that you would get to start working with somebody and that before you've even earned any money as a result of their contribution, right. that they would then start trying to treat you like a bank. If anything, if you become a manager, you probably are kind of being looked at like, well, if there is any short-term money that's needed for a project, whatever, that he might, the manager yes, might be the one exactly. who yes, would be able to yeah, help out a bit. Yes. Sure. But see, I he's never even looked at it like that. Whatever the project was going to cost, I told him up front that I'll fully front that. Like, mm. It's good. Whatever the project going to cost, I'm paying for it out of pocket. The, yeah. the photo shoot, the fucking studio sessions, everything came out of my pocket. Producers, whatever the fuck. Nigga, he wrote down you every beat. Check the buy invoices. Every beat. Mm. You feel me? Literally. You know what the cold part is, too, because like you said, 
are true like a manager is like you, when you you're an artist you get a call from somebody of prominence saying they're going to manage you you're thinking they're going to be adding something to your life exactly. the, this whole thing was a finesse move off rip and the cold part about it is that a dude like you is actually really talented exactly. if it's just like a random ass artist with a pipe dream who ain't got no, no type of motion or nothing going on that's one thing no, but if it's no someone less, that damn not. this dude actually could pop off no, he has not. mass appeal it he has Lust just described was a manager using you knowing that you have no talent or no real hopes that's not that's not cool lush you're a piece of shit it was something else <laughs> <laughs> he thought he wasn't going did Dijon stop working with bro because he wouldn't let him play in his butt this is what we're getting he said this he wouldn't go to the to the ditty There's a lot of stories like that about Diddy that he would find hey, the artist. Hey, 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 you yeah. can, if you if you come to the freak out, we good. If you don't come to the freak out, this whole thing's done. Yeah. Yeah. Over with on me. That's weird. Bro. And nope, no homo. No homo. He's got this. You're not a bad looking guy. <laughs> and I, I say that. I'm, I'm just putting my manager. Hat. Pause. Hat on. <laughs> I feel like if you cracked off, you know the girls are gonna be looking at him. That's why like, my album's called Girls Love Busy. You feel me? There, there, there like you go. That, you know what I'm saying? There you go. I'm a nigga, bro. And yeah, he like yeah, yeah. he fucked up what was going on. You feel me? And look, after that shit happened, I was really discouraged from making music. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Understandably, maybe bro. like a month or two, bro. Niggas didn't record shit. Didn't record yeah. nothing. So that fucked up my whole drive to even want to drop the album and keep going. I eventually dropped it, of course. Yeah. But you feel me, like? It's fucked up. Oh God! Exactly. Single, single, yeah, single, single number eighteen on charts. You so wait, did, did you try to? Did you try to reestablish communication I after that? No, like, why? Because so, like, you so know, why no don't job? Fuck? Nigga don't have a job no more. You know uh. what I mean? So it's like. Why reach out? Why would I reach out when you owe me an apology? Mm -hmm. Niggas should see this right now and call me right now. My phone should be buzzing right now. Niggas should be calling me like, hey, bro, you know what? I did you dirty. My bad for snubbing you. So he never even attempted to like... Never at all. So what? what did, how did he do you dirty? Because did you ever give him the money? No, never gave him the bread. But look, uh, you look. See, I, I feel what you're saying. I didn't get finessed. I feel what you're yeah, saying. You didn't get I didn't get finessed finesse out of my yeah, chili, yeah, 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 but yeah. I got finessed out of the time. Yeah, I got finessed yeah, out of my work. Niggas sold me some dream. dreams, bro. Got my bro. partner that's, that's right here. That's with me, bro. We was yeah, out money, with bro. this nigga, bro. Going places with this. Nigga. Broski manipulated him, and that's not cool. Manipulation is my least. I, I can't stand people who want to manipulate you, bro. Like just keep it a bean. He probably still would have. He if you just kept it a bean from the jump, he might have did it. At that point, it's I just gotta. He's gotta. He's gotta weigh his options and see if that's worth the two thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? It's just a. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a thing about respect and coming off correct, coming off direct. You know, not hiding your motives. If you just say, bro, I need this 2K for this, boom, bop. That's, you know, it's just what I need. Uh, We're going to get you right after. It's it, That's up to bro to fuck with. But you trying to manipulate him and lie and and make it seem like it's this, what is that is not cool. And I'm sure that that's what he didn't appreciate and what he will never appreciate. Nigga, bro, doing shit. Uh, Niggas is out. You feel me? Niggas selling you the dream. Like, all right, look, this is what could happen. This is what could do. We could, you feel me? Whatever. And it just never happened. Yeah, Niggas never shit. met no <laughs> no ARs, no executives, no nothing. Yeah, he probably did didn't have nothing to offer you when the album came like when you were done with everything like damn we did all this shit and now he's like all right now we're my now let me see if i get my let me see yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 like, and even with his to hit me with a bill even with his no jumper connection it's like obviously if you work here it's like you, you shouldn't be bringing in somebody to meet me every day but if if dejan when he was here had said hey i got an artist that i'm managing would you be down to like meet him and, and maybe listen to some of the songs and shit you would have for sure i got 20 30 minutes to to fuck with yeah, dude, yeah, just yeah, on yeah, some yeah, cool yeah, shit yeah. but there was nothing like that it was just straight up we're gonna use I you for, we for what we can right. and then once we <laughs> once exactly. we realize <laughs> that you're not down to be part of my diddy style freak off <laughs> Yo. you're out <laughs> i'm wondering is there other is there is this gonna be a me too situation it like, probably is check the chat he doesn't have a great track record with being able to oh God, obtain legal it. help See? basically yeah, already there was a time when he was on another platform <laughs> claiming that he had a legal team that was actually coming
coming for me, yeah. which I personally invite and would love to do that square dance. But I, the part of the reason why I wanted you to come on is because I feel bad because he was using my company's name That's a fact. to entice young men and make them think, <laughs> yeah. fuck you. I'm fine. <laughs> he was using no jumper to he was using dope jumper to try to groom young men. I'm crying. <laughs> yeah. I'm not uh, saying that you were ever a willing participant in anything like this. Look, I'm just saying I think I had ulterior motives. How many people went for it? Entice is crazy. I don't know. I mean, don't be don't embarrassed, know. fellas. If you went for it, come for it. If we you have, are a victim a of the gummy bear, <laughs> uh, gummy bear reach out to me. Also, on some real shit, though, fuck the gummy bear. Just Dead based ass. off the fact that you can't be selling niggas dreams like that. Because what if I was like, what if I was a real killer? Like, mm. you feel me? What if I was a real mm. nigga that was just like mad about that shit and I took that to real hard and I fucked mm. my head up about that? You yeah. feel me? You was already in a fucked up position. You was asking me to do shit for you that I was like, you feel me, not trying to do for you, bro. Niggas was asking me for cars, trying to get apartments for niggas and all type of shit, bro. You Wild. was down bad, bro. Um, and I had the plug to help you uh, in life. You feel me? But you feel me? You know what I'm saying? You do dirty business. You can't do dirty business with me, and I'm you the nigga. You, you feel me? You trying to manage me, bro. How you going to do dirty business with me? It makes that me make wonder sense. if, like, uh, the entire report card is compromised. Like, if you could buy yourself a the report card, The report card's <laughs> paid for. I'm going to drop that right now. The report card's paid whoa, for. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Card, the report card that Dijon Paul does is paid for. I think he's, he's, he's come out and spoken on that before, saying that you can, you know, get your own personal report card. I don't think he's breaking news with that, but. If you get in these personal report cards done, how you ain't have the 2K to do your own project when you're charging so much for an individual report card or a slot, etc. <laughs> how do you know that? Niggas are selling slots, bro. Niggas selling slots. What? Niggas selling slots for everything, bro. Niggas selling slots like for that freshman list. Like Niggas selling slots for report card. Like Niggas selling slots for everything, bro. And certain slots, sell slots that's too. not sold is just his opinion shit. It's not shit that's really like the real shit that we should know. Yeah. It's his based on his own opinion, bro. So nobody should really be tripping off this fucking report card. I ne honestly, I never even thought about that angle. That's the real shit. But when you do look at that shit, it will be like... 70% artists that you're very aware of that are like household names and, and then there'll somebody. be like a chunk of them where um, they'll be like no name random nigga am I totally out of the loop that I don't know that, that I don't guy know this yeah, like, right. okay. like, yeah. I'm not doing my job right like y'all niggas don't do y'all job right or something yeah. oh, man. see Adam's confusing it Adam's confusing the big report card with this with what homie right here is saying homie right here is saying that you pay for your individual report card those individual Jones hell oh, no yeah. that's some grimy shit so wait you're telling me that the same person who faked being shot in order to try to get a set Settlement from his boss that at No Jumper. The, the same person who tried to fleece an artist that he was managing out of two thousand dollars is also the same type of person who would charge for editorial favoritism on his beloved it's rap a lot of card. LA rappers going to jail, Adam. <sighs> And I think he that has we, to fill it in. Somewhere. Now we have a media person who needs to go to jail. It's very Benzino esque. It's crazy. It's like Benzino God. meets Diddy. Wow, Gumzino. <laughs> Gumzino. 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 That's crazy. Gumzino. Can't support this. Yo, but wait, do you know anything? You were probably privy to like what was going on, or had, had you guys already stopped working together when he did the when fake he shooting did thing? The shoot? You were you oh, already no, gone no, by then, or? I've been still oh, God. Yeah. That's. I would love to find some some flies on the wall. Who could tell me about that whole process as well. That shit's crazy. Too. I saw him yeah. with crutches and a bandage around. Why, why do we never? Yeah. We, we don't even talk about that. He went no, to a kidding. rap show in a that wheelchair. Got crutches on him, girl. He got in a that. wheelchair and went to a rap show to basically try to like do. It was like a psychological operation on yeah. me <laughs> to try to convince me that I should come out of pocket. Yeah. The wheelchair was supposed to fool me. Right. Did it have you? The wheelchair there. was He's supposed to fool me. In these streets for a long time. You ain't gonna. Just pull the wool over my fucking eyes. I know what's going on. <laughs> He's so distraught. He went to a hip hop show. <laughs> Yo, being so distraught and in pain and in in after you've been shot, bro, you are not supposed to want to go out into public, gang. He was trying to oh, sell a slot or two. Shit, how you trying to His do lawyer probably told him to do that on the guy. Yo, he probably told him to do that. Get he caught on been, camera wheeling around. Like he That's been, crazy. Oh. bored out on the low guard you want to get on the sport guard. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hey, and, and you want to <laughs> sue your employer? I got some some, some scams for that, too. Class I'm a master of that as well. Did he play with Yo, and, and what's crazy is that after all that shit, 
I was certain that nobody in the hip hop world would ever hire him again because you have people like me, like Wack 100, et cetera, who have at least some amount of sway within the industry and who would be able to reach out to people and say, hey, don't hire him because he's going to try to rob you. And this, to be fair, this also throws tons of gas on the flames as well to be like, look, and, uh, this guy is a piece of shit and he will scam you. But what I discounted is there are some platforms that have no money in the bank, such as the community world. They were happy there's to sign the, him. They the were beat. happy to invite a scammer in, which is kind of crazy, but also not that surprising. There it is. Adam always going to throw the shots at Fig Mini World. But y'all let me know what y'all think below, man. Is Dijon a scammer? Is he doing good business? I think that's an objective. No. So we can move on to the next question. What needs to happen to Dijon for what he's done? And do you think he needs to even speak on it? PR would probably tell him not to speak on it. That'd be the correct thing to do PR wise. Just ignore this. Let the next story come out. But what should he be doing as a man, as a person, for real, if these things are true? If these things are true, then he needs to, in my opinion, get right with the people who he's wronged. And that's about it. Um, the business can always be handled. He's, uh, he didn't take no money from bro. So the, him and him don't have any financial disparity between them. It's a, it's, a, it's a moral thing, it seems like, between them. And Adam is, of course, taking issue with anything Dijon does after he tried to scam him. If he was still on the No Jumper platform, I don't think Adam would have much to say about these things. He'd actually probably just ignore them and continue to let Dijon make him money on his platform. Anyway, y'all let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think Dijon is going to face any kind of backlash for what he's done? Do you think he should? And just how do you think he can clean all of this up? Y'all let me know what y'all think. Hit that comment section. Hit the like button. And turn on notifications if you haven't already. I'm not even going to say subscribe because you should already be subscribed up. Let's try to get this video to 100 likes. I'm dropping content for y'all. Content, content, content. Video after video after video. So just, you know, show that love back with a little like. Love y'all. Check the description for the Discord too. Send me any kind of recommendations of content y'all want me to react to games you want me to play whatever your own content too hit it discord in the description hit that button hit those buttons and watch the next video love you